Samantha and Cameron are two students who have a lot of homework for their upcoming wedding. I want to stick it to your family too. But she can't communicate what she wants. They're not seeing the vision that I see. And he can't communicate how he's feeling. I don't know if you want me to say that. Yeah, he doesn't care. Can Jane give them something to talk about? I'm worried. And for me to be worried. Or will this couple fail this lifelong exam? We're going to wait until he gets here. Yeah, I have to. People are now leaving. Students Samantha and Cameron have been studying Love 101 for over eight years. I think I made the first move. Yeah, she was aggressive. What made Samantha stand out was... Nothing? What made Samantha stand out in the beginning was her beauty. I had to tell you. Within the two-year mark, I became pregnant, had Nathaniel. Nathaniel is four years old. Cameron was saying that he wanted to have another child, and I said, nope, not until we're married. First one's free, second one you have to pay for. I don't feel that I got a proper proposal. We went outside, and he put it on my finger, and that was it. I fumbled. I thought that I would have done it better. Hi, boys. I have to do the wedding favors. Can you come in and help? You're probably doing better than I will. The sources of disappointment would be Cameron's lack of involvement, my little sister's lack of involvement. You have no idea of what's going on. It's not my fault that you don't ever ask me to do something, okay? I shouldn't have to ask you. You should just offer. Maybe Samantha's sister should learn to read minds. I think general expectations are pretty low. Uh, from our families, they're probably expecting like homemade sandwiches. I need Jane to make sure that they're completely wrong and... That's what it's about, not our love. Well... <laughs> sticking it to your family. No, but that's what I want. I, I want to stick it to your family too, don't worry. No, I mean, I don't want our wedding to be oh, yeah. what they envision it to be. I know. Enter Jane Deus Hinch. Our wedding planner slash fairy godmother will grant three wishes to help this couple actually communicate all their wedding wants and needs. Cameron, nice to meet you. Hello, Cameron. Samantha. Samantha. So what's the matter with your wedding? When it comes to my centerpieces, every time I go to see a florist and they try to recreate it, it's not what I'm looking for. OK. Do you have someone to marry you? <laughs> Almost. That's a no, then. We did have somebody, but they had just canceled. Cool. Have you got a photographer? Kind of. <laughs> yes or no? My mum can, I guess, take oh, pictures. <laughs> worst comes to worst. She actually will be in the pictures rather than taking them. Right. Then I think there's a lot more things we need to discuss. These students better take notes. Anything in red is urgent, is like today. Efficient, I suggest. Book one. Good call. Have you got a DJ? Have you got a band? My friend who DJs at clubs, but doesn't really have too much experience DJing weddings. DJs that work the clubs have a completely different playlist to wedding DJs who can do anything because grandma's gone up and said, could you do a bit of Frank Sinatra, please? Oh, that's nice. See? And he won't have that. Is this person going to be your MC? He would have to be because we don't have somebody else. Now he's got a big role. <sighs> a florist. They're not seeing the vision that I see. How complicated is this centerpiece? It's simple. I want curly willows coming up. Twisted willow, yeah. And then I want some type of thing hanging over the God, vase. It's so ugly when you say it like that. It's not the florist. It's Samantha not being so specific. I'm worried. And for me to be worried. That's your job. <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> you have a wedding planner, but you need some help. Can you ask your mum for any help? What can... Oh. Why wouldn't you, mum, want to? She just... And you'd love her to. Wow. 
I've tried to get her to get her involved, but it's just not an interest of hers. I hope I get the opportunity to meet Samantha's mother so that I can talk this through with her and find out if there is a problem. I haven't got little bells now. I've got big alarm bells now. Hmm. You're not on your own. You got me. I've got three wishes. Do we give Cameron one? Yes, I'm hoping that he'll start checking things off the list as well, not just leaving it on to me. Oh boy. But at least Cameron starts sorting out the DJ right away. Hey, I think we could have a little chat about maybe doing a wedding? Yeah, absolutely. I like dancing at a club. It's generally a good vibe. So tell me um, what you want. I just want another recreation of just about every Saturday night we get here. So it's All right, a, so it's your wedding. It's a wedding, yeah. We're going to party it up. Everything's going to be crazy. Do you have any ballads, Frank Sinatra? Yes, uh, but like it's it's funkified. It's like, yeah, it's just like 120 beats a minute. Everybody's going to everybody's going everybody's going dancing and everybody's going crazy. It's going to be a party. And come on, look at me, Cram. I'm already seeing the party. I'm already seeing. The party. And this guy is going to be their MC. Sounds good. Looks like Samantha wants to put another spin on the DJ. Hello, Samantha. I would like it if you would be able to help us find a real professional wedding DJ. I'll find you the best wedding DJ I know. You may have to convince Cameron because he seems really stoked for this club DJ. Leave it with me. Coming up, Jane takes charge of the wedding music. There are no requests. And the communication breakdown keeps breaking down. This is perfect for Well, us. I don't care if it's the normal size seating thing. After eight years together, Samantha and Cameron are tying the knot. But a real lack of communication means the knot is coming undone. I don't know if you want me to say yeah, that. Yeah, he doesn't care. And the DJ they have in mind is giving Jane a headache. DJs that work the clubs have a completely different playlist to wedding DJs. Jane wastes no time in taking care of the DJ wish, and that apparently comes with a little attitude. This is so good. Woo! You're really getting down there, Jane. There are no requests. It's all what I want to play all night. And when you come up and you ask, it'll be, sorry, sorry, you want what? I don't do that. That's not something I want. What I try to demonstrate to Cameron, because he is so set on this club DJ, is to show him how bad it can be. Your grandmas will be hitting this. I don't really see my grandma doing that too much. You might be having a great time, but everybody else at your wedding left early. Is that what you want? No, not at all. Are you going to trust me, Cameron, to go and find you the best DJ for your wedding? All right. I got well put in my place, and that's yeah, good. Excuse me? I'm having a great time. Thank okay. you. While Jane continues to play her music, Woo! Cameron heads home and just Cameron. continues to play. Here it goes. Oh! <laughs> Mama? I'm a cheerleader. Oh, I can't be your cheerleader, honey. Mommy has lots of stuff to do. What, what are you doing? I have to do the wedding favors. Can you come in and help? Uh, 20 minutes or so. This is ridiculous. While Samantha heads back to do their homework alone, DJ Jane has called in some help. Jane, do you really know what you're doing? Of course I know what I'm doing. I can tweak anybody's knobs. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should step aside. I want everybody to have a great time, so you need a great DJ. And that's why I chose Gabe. This is a wedding itinerary, which okay. all the information is going to be on here. And this is what I'm going to go by. I need to know if we're going to say their last names, if we're going to say the date or the venue. I need to know all these details to make sure everything goes amazing. You speak in my language. We want to appeal to everybody that's coming to the no wedding. No problem. So we're going to make them have the best wedding party ever. Let's do it. They got the two party animals. We're going to make them I go crazy. This is just the best. Meanwhile, Samantha continues to work on the wedding by herself. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Mom. Well, I still need to do my table arrangement. Mm-hmm. Set my favors up. Mm-hmm. Finish this off and put the ribbon around this. So it sounds like you got a handle on everything. Well, not really. And that's where our fairy godmother comes into play. Hello. Hi, Jane. Hello, Samantha. 
No one's really helping me and I really want my mum's help right now. I would like to call in a wish. You want me to ask your mum to help you? Let me see what I can do. Okay, thanks, Jane. As a wedding planner, I am a mediator. And if this is her wish, I will do anything to make this wish happen. Mrs. McDonald? Oh, hi. Hello, I'm Jane. I've just been talking to Samantha about the wedding. She says that she's absolutely swamped with the wedding and she wants some help and she hasn't got any help. She hasn't asked me for any help. If she asked me for help, I'd be more than happy to help her. But it doesn't surprise me. No. Really, no, that is Samantha. I've noticed she's been doing this with her sister also. And I have heard people say, um, is there anything I can do for you? Because none of us really know what to do. Okay, well, maybe we can talk this through then. Samantha. Hi, Jane. I've just been speaking to your mum in the garden. There's a bit of a breakdown in communication. I think I need to get the two of you together. Okay. You haven't really come and asked me for any help, Samantha. I don't think I should have to ask people for help when you see me doing something you could offer. Not a lot of people go on mind reading courses. No. You just come and tell me, oh, Mom, I need help with this. I don't, I'm going to be there. Look how easy that was. Yeah. Wasn't that a simple wish? Hello, Brenda, will you do this? Yes. That's not really a big wish. I'm going to help Samantha in a very different way that won't just be for the wedding. I hope it'll be for life. Coming up, these students end up in a different kind of classroom and our groom gets graded. That might be the only failing grade I've ever gotten. Samantha and Cameron aren't making the grade when it comes to talking about their wedding. Can you come in and help? You're probably doing better than I will anyway. This is ridiculous. And with just four days to go, what little talk there was has now turned to fighting. No, this is a normal size seating. This is perfect for well, a seating chair. I don't care if it's the normal size seating thing. You have 16 tables, there's not much room. If you can stretch paper, feel free to. Maybe you shouldn't have invited so many guests, Cameron. All right, I think I'm pretty sure I know what I gotta do, okay? Hi, Jane, it's Cameron. But apparently, I failed at just about everything, regardless of all the effort I've put in. I'd like to uh, push out a wish. I'd like my wish to make me appear to be the A-plus groom. OK. I really appreciate your help. Jane will help Cameron make the grade. But first, it's back to school for the entire family and a lifelong lesson in communication. How are you, Kevin? I'm terrific. Thanks for coming, Jane. Thank you. Bright right. to be. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And look who's here. We have a few family members here. It's not just Samantha who needs to learn communication skills, it's the whole family. And we're gonna do a little yes and exercising right now, all right? You make one sentence, but after that first sentence, every response begins with yes and. By saying, yes, you have a right to say that, and I have a concern about this. Yes, that's true, and this is true. How will we meet in the middle? How will we find common ground. That's what we do when we build relationships with people. We accept them for what they are, and we add what we are. Would you like to uh, practice our dancer? Yes. <laughs> yes. And there are things that I would like to do our way. <laughs> yes, and could you go on and tell me what those that were? Hard. <laughs> yes. And they are what? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, not off the top of my head. <laughs> we're accepting those things as yes. And then we're adding our own ideas. We're expanding on it. And I think that kind of language, that yes and language, will be very helpful as you move forward in planning, say, a wedding. As with any workshop, you take it away with you. And the more you practice, the more you gain the skill. It was a positive workshop, but it would take a lot to continue on with that type of communication. Her first test comes in the form of a visit to florist number 13. Maybe now Samantha can communicate what she wants. What did you have in mind? A tall vase. I want some stuff flowing over okay. it. Okay. Um, stuff as in flowers <laughs> or as in greenery? I guess greenery. I have some grasses. Yes, <laughs> and I'm midway. Flowers. These really wouldn't showy. be my color. Let's not do those then. 
Is that good? Some hydrangeas. Yes, and I want it tight though. You can work with that. Are you 100% yes. on this? I am 100%. Perfect, well then that's what we've got. Now that I've seen the training that I did with the communication is actually effective and something is positive out of it, it's for sure something that I'm going to continue on using. Looks like Samantha is passing her test, so Jane can get back to work on Cameron's wish to help him become an A-plus groom. Cameron realized that it's coming to crunch day and he needs to redeem himself. Well, I thought I would do a report on you. As you are a student, Yes. I thought you would react well to this. Efficient, where are we with that? We don't have one, we're still working on it. Did you go and pick up your tuxedo? Yes. Does it fit? I never tried it on. You didn't try it on? Something that Samantha mentioned to me was how you proposed. How would you rate your proposal? That might be the only failing grade I've ever gotten in school in my life. Oh, dear. Speeches? Have we got that done? No. I think your speech is where you can blow her away. When it comes to the speech, it's, I'm sure you'll all agree, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't my wife look beautiful? And you give her a kiss, and you make her feel so special and she will see that you've put work into the speech more than you ever did with the proposal. And that will make you an A-plus bridegroom. That sounds spectacular. I think this is going to be the biggest test of Cameron's life. Will he pass? I'll ask Sam on the wedding day. Cameron wastes no time. He wants that A-plus. Hi, this is uh, Cameron Tracy. I'm calling, trying to get a minister. Coming up. Did Cameron come through and actually get someone to marry them? 10 past 3, no officiant. And who else is holding things up? We're going to wait until he gets here. Yeah, I have to. Samantha and Cameron are students who are getting straight Fs when it comes to communicating. I don't know if you want me to say that. Yeah, he doesn't care. Jane showed up with three wishes to help this couple start talking. For wish one, she found a real wedding DJ. You definitely need a very versatile DJ to be able to do a wedding. For wish two, she taught Samantha how to actually ask for help when she needs it. Not a lot of people go on mind reading courses. Yeah. And for wish three, Jane worked with Cameron to try to make him an A-plus groom. That might be the only failing grade I've ever gotten in school in my life. The wedding's near but Cameron is far from ready. Where's your shirt, sweetheart? It's, You've got... It's, it's, it's being pressed. When I arrived at the hotel, an hour before the ceremony, there was Cameron running around in his vest and shorts. We're waiting for you. Oh, God, no. We're waiting for the rest of the guests. And a minister. 10 past three. I have guests. I have no officiant. Hi. Hello. Hey, Pretty Tia, I'm the officiant. The officiant, check. But there's still someone missing, and it's not who you think. We're going to wait until he gets here. Yeah, I have to. You need to make an announcement to your guests, because yeah, some okay, of your sorry. guests have sat there for 45 minutes. People are now leaving. We've been waiting for the bride's father. She wanted to give him every opportunity to be here but he's 40 minutes late. Do you hold your wedding up for one guest? How long do you wait? Look beautiful. Thank you. Think beautiful thoughts. Oh, gee, sorry, 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 sorry. I've been here since three. All right, inside, guys. It is now 10 past four. We nearly lost the officiant, sorry, 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 sorry. but that's how much you okay. mean to her. Yes, I okay? agree. Can I, I, I escort you to your seat? I appreciate you let me give my baby a kiss. Mm -hmm. you look so sweet. That's what she waited for. Thank you very much. Finally, it's showtime. Samantha. With all my love, I'll take you to be my wife. I will love you through good and bad. I promise to be your equal partner. Cameron, with all my love, I take you to be my husband. I will love you, I will try to be understanding, and to trust in you completely. Cameron, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. and Mrs. Samantha and Cameron Tracy. When I first walked into the reception, the first thing I noticed was my centerpieces. They were set up beautifully. It was perfect. It was beautiful. It was. All that's left now is for Jane's DJ to get everyone on the dance floor. It's great. It's rocking. Our DJ has been phenomenal. He had a really good understanding of the, the vibe and the ambiance we were trying to create. It was spectacular. The DJ has scored an A+. But what about Cameron and his speech? Wouldn't you all agree, ladies and gentlemen, that Samantha looks absolutely stunning? I was so proud of him. Fantastic, Cameron. To see Nathaniel give her a hug and give her away to me was just the absolute moment that we became a family. Cameron's speech tonight was absolutely wonderful. That was sweet. Thank you. I'm 100% sure that if we didn't have Jane, it wouldn't have been a success at all. Jane A plus it. DJ Jane doesn't get out of bed for less than 100 Gs.